Hello, my name is Jody Gaver, and I'm going to show you today how to install Windows 10 via some bootable media with an unattend file to handle all those prompts and automate the installation of Windows 10. Materials that you'll need. You'll need the instructions at tinyurl.com forward slash bootable win media. You'll need your Windows 10 volume license ISO downloaded and extracted. You'll need Rufus. You can use either the installable or um, portable, but I prefer the installable as I use this over and over again. And then you'll also need a USB drive, at least eight gigs or bigger, that can be formatted as such. After you verify and select FreeDOS, check the box to add fixes for old BIOSes, extra partition, align, etc. Make sure it's FAT32, and go ahead and name the volume label as you would like. When you're ready, hit Start. It's going to warn you that everything is going to be destroyed on the drive. And when everything's done, you go ahead and hit Close. OK, so on to the fun stuff. So earlier, I asked you to download your volume license media for 1809 and extract it locally. That's what this folder is. And inside the sources folder, we have an install.wim that is just over 4 gigs, which exceeds the FAT32 size. So we need to split that WIM. So what I did here is I created another folder, and I copied everything over from the 1809 media, but I'm going to delete this install.wim, and you'll see why later. Next, we are going to use BISM, a built-in utility in Windows, to split that install.wim file that was too big for that FAT32 partition. In order to do that, you have to have an empty output folder. So I created mine in C, bootable media sources. Then you're going to open up an administrator command prompt and you're going to copy and paste the command from my instruction document that I told you to reference earlier at the tiny URL. And just make sure to change, this is the source location for the install.wim, and then this is the output location for the split files specifying the four gig size. So after you verify that all the command line looks correct, the paths are correct, go ahead and hit enter and BISM will mount that WIM file and start splitting it. After a short time period, you should then see two .swm files. We are going to now copy these and paste them in the same sources folder that we earlier deleted out that install.wim file. Both of these .swm files are going to replace that install.wim. After those files are copied, just validate that you do have both files in that sources directory. Now, earlier I mentioned that we were going to handle some of those prompts for formatting and, and whatnot to automate this process. So in the instructions um, I had you reference earlier, scroll down to the section that says text to copy to auto unattend.xml. You are going to copy this whole text section all the way down to the very bottom to the slash unattend. And you're going to paste it into either uh, WordPad or um, any, any of your favorite text editor. And then once you have it in here, there's only a couple sections that I care about. The biggest one being what key is going to be used to um, activate the machine. So if you're doing Windows 10 Professional, Pro Education, you want to uncomment out the one that you want it to use. So you can see down here, I actually have the Windows 10 Education key uncommented, uncommented out. So this is the key that's going to apply. There's also some sections in here for handling drivers and the hard disk. Sometimes the hard drive will show up as disk zero, sometimes disk one, so you may have to come in here and modify this. So after you've made the changes you want, you are going to save 
the file as autounattend.xml, and you're going to save that in the root of your 1809 um, edited split WIM file directory. So the output should look like this. You have all your Windows ISO source files in the Sources folder. You can go down and verify that you have your two split installed at SWM files. You have your auto out intent XML. And now you're going to copy these and paste these right into your USB drive that you formatted earlier with Rufus. If you get prompted to replace any files, just go ahead and say replace the file in this destination. Okay, so when you're all done, you should have all your Windows setup files over here, your auto on attend.xml, and you should be able to take this USB drive, stick it into a USB port on a machine, boot to that USB drive, and it should format the drive, install Windows completely hands-free. So I took that USB drive that we just created, I popped it into my Surface Go, went ahead and booted to that drive, and it handled all the prompts for me. It formatted the drive, it copied over the files, it installed Windows, installed updates, and as you can see, a short time later, we're at the out-of-box screen ready for provisioning. So this is a very inexpensive, quick way to get your devices up to the latest and greatest Windows 10. Uh, maybe you're still uh, dealing with some Windows 7 devices out there. It's literally like an imaging in your pocket system. So anywhere you go, you don't have to plug into a switch and pixie boot. And as you can see, it was very easy to do.